guys! Welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette's Syndrome. Today's video is a very important video and I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that I feel needs to be talked about. Let me just start off by saying this. Tourette's Syndrome is not a joke. So many people in the world out there use the term Tourette's as like a punchline or a derogative term or they basically just make it out to be a joke. In my life alone, I have experienced quite a few instances where people use Tourette's as a joke or as like a mockery and it is just not okay. May 15th was the start of Tourette's Syndrome Awareness Month and it goes all the way until June 15th and I want to make you guys aware of something very important. There is a new website called TourettePledge.org and I'm going to show you it a little bit later in this video but basically it is a pledge to make sure that if you sign it you stop using Tourette's as a joke or like a derogatory term. I came across this website very recently and I think it is so 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 important and I would be honored and very very thankful if you watching this would go to my description and see the link that I have linked to this pledge and I would love it if you would sign it because it hasn't been signed by a lot of people yet but I feel like if more people get the word out there people will sign it because this is so important not only to me but to the whole Tourette's Syndrome community. People with Tourette's Syndrome for a long time have been misunderstood and quite frankly mocked by the world and I think it is so important to get awareness out there because I don't think there is a lot out there in the world. And so my goal of this channel is to provide education, to raise awareness, and to break the stigma surrounding Tourette's Syndrome. I have a whole video on breaking the stigma so I'll link that up there but it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel but more importantly take the pledge. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this pledge. It literally takes like 30 seconds and it's really for a good cause. I know it's like, you may not think it's the most important thing and it probably isn't, but it means the world to me and to other people out there who live with this disorder. And I think it would be awesome if you would take the pledge. So without further ado, let's get to that. So here I'm going to show you how easy it is to take the pledge. You just have to go to TourettePledge.org and it's going to take you to this website where the heading says, be the change for the Tourette community. And stop using Tourette syndrome as a punchline is bolded as well, which I think is so important. And basically you are pledging to stop using Tourette syndrome as a punchline, as a descriptive term, or as a slur. You are pledging to speak out and educate and inspire others. You are pledging to create a world where people are seen for who they are and not just for their tics. And you are pledging to be the change for the Tourette syndrome community. So if you scroll down a little more, you'll see the take the pledge area and you're just going to type in your first name, your last name, give your email address, and I don't believe they email you anything, and your zip code, which I didn't have one because I'm from Canada, but I put one. And then you can optionally share a story for why you are taking the pledge. So I wrote a little bit about why I want to break the stigma and how I've lived with Tourette's syndrome my whole life. and. I just think it's very important that people know that Tourette's is not a joke. After that, you're just going to tell them that you are not a robot because you are not a robot and you are going to click continue and then it basically just thanks you for taking the pledge and it shows you how many have pledged so far to this day. You can also make a donation or like a gift it says to the Tourette Syndrome Association of America in different increments and you can share your pledge on Facebook or Twitter. It's that easy. See, super easy. And like I said, it would mean so much to the Tourette Syndrome community considering this is Tourette Syndrome Awareness Month and we need more people to take this pledge and to take Tourette Syndrome seriously because it isn't a joke. I don't want to bring negativity to this channel at all, but I do want to talk a little bit about some of the times that I've experienced firsthand people making fun of Tourette's in front of me, a person who lives with it. So I believe when I was in junior high, I had a lot of people who were quite frankly mean. Not necessarily about Tourette's syndrome, but just about anything. They were bullies, they were not nice. I was bullied a lot 
do not recommend it, do not like it, but I want to just tell you guys the story of this one time when the conversation in the classroom was Tourette syndrome. And one of the girls was like, what is Tourette syndrome? And I was trying to educate and raise awareness and I was like, it is a neurological disorder that causes individuals to make involuntary movements and sounds known as tics. And I went on to kind of explain that like scrunching your nose or coughing or blinking your eyes could be tics. And I remember like so vividly that the majority of the class was like, they just didn't really care. But this one girl was like, really Carly? trying to explain Tourette's you can't it is so weird and people with it all they do is swear and at this point in my life I had already been diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome and I already felt like such an outcast so misunderstood and I just it was heartbreaking for me to hear this and I know it doesn't sound that horrible but hearing from someone that I trusted and was friends with that Tourette's syndrome was only a swearing disorder and that it was weird and that it was a joke and all this stuff like it really hurt and that's kind of why I'm getting this pledge out to you guys because I don't want people who are young like me at the time who have Tourette syndrome to have to go through that and have to feel so so hurt and misunderstood because people are just ignorant and they don't know about it and they're not educated. Another time where Tourette's was used kind of as a joke in my life was I was in a car with a few people and we were just talking about life. I don't really remember the conversation that much, but I do know that Tourette syndrome was brought up as a descriptive term for a dog. And the dog was kind of barking a lot and going crazy and the person was like, the dog probably had Tourette's. <laughs> and like, I don't think the person knew at the time that I had Tourette syndrome, but this was so hurtful to me. And I probably sound like I'm overreacting right now, but this genuinely hurt me because I live with Tourette syndrome. I have a lot of tics. I know you're not seeing them right now because I am suppressing them and redirecting them, but I'm very passionate about this and I think people just need to know what Tourette's actually is. And it's not, it's not that. Another time where Tourette syndrome was mocked right in front of me was I was at a soccer party and a bunch of us girls were just sitting around the table talking, having fun. I was kind of off to the side because I was a little bit of an awkward kid and I didn't really like to talk to people, but... And one of the girls started flailing her arms like all over like this, like it was really strange. And she started swearing, like, the B word, B word, B word. And I was like, what the heck? And then everyone around her was like, what are you doing? And she started hysterically laughing and was like, I have Tourette's, it's so funny, don't you think? And the whole group just started laughing because she didn't have Tourette's syndrome, just a disclaimer, she was making fun of it. And this also really hurt me. And I remember quite a few of the other soccer players were like, oh my gosh, Tourette's is so weird, don't you think? And there was like this huge conversation sparked about how it's so weird and people with it swear all the time and they flail their arms all over the place and I was just sitting there heartbroken. I think I was probably like, 13 at the time and I didn't use my voice to advocate. I didn't step up and educate them and I wish I would have but I was so shy and I didn't think it was my place to do so but looking back at it now I wish I would have said hey you know what that's wrong and I remember I'm gonna just share one more story there are a lot more but this one is another one that I just think is like what but my uncle came over for dinner one night and my brother was younger at the time and he was kind of dancing around the kitchen and like laughing and just being very loud and my uncle was like you're so weird you must have Tourette's and I remember in that moment I was like really like my brother was clearly having fun laughing and just singing around and being goofy and my uncle blatantly said you're weird you must have Tourette's so I'm just editing and I just want to say one more thing about misinformed judgments on Tourette syndrome. Um, I was playing Trivial Pursuit, and to be fair, it was a dated version, but regardless, there was a question, and I believe the category was illnesses and diseases, and the question was a disorder that causes people to only, keyword only, blurt obscenities and crude gestures. Now, 
Those of you watching this, I hope you know why that is wrong. But if you don't, I'm going to just quickly tell you. Coprolalia is the swearing tick that causes people to blurt swear words. And this only happens in 10 to 15% of people who have Tourette's syndrome. And the fact that this game that was published and probably played worldwide had this question answered this way was just really shocking and I think it needs an update because like the word only no Tourette's is so much more than that and I'm not gonna rant about this but I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna contain myself but just that's another thing that I really don't like and why we need this pledge to be taken because we need education and it is not a joke. I know I probably sound a little bit entitled right now and like, oh, this is such a big problem. And I know there's a lot of bigger problems in the world right now, but like, I think if we can solve one little problem like this, it would help make the world a more understanding place because Tourette's syndrome is not a joke. It's the same as laughing at someone in a wheelchair because they can't walk. Like, who in their right mind would do that? I know it's a little bit different, but it, it's so similar to that because Tourette's syndrome is a disorder that cannot be helped. When I tick, it is embarrassing, it is frustrating, it is painful, it is so many things that I just don't like, but I have to live with it. And so if you guys want to help at all by signing this pledge, I would really, really appreciate it. And not only me, the whole Tourette's syndrome community would appreciate it, I know. This link has nothing to do with me. Like I didn't create it. I didn't do anything like that. I believe it's the Tourette Syndrome Association of America that did the whole thing, but I came across it and I just want to get it out there because this is so important to me. And I really, really, really want you guys to know that Tourette Syndrome is not a joke. It's not something to be made fun of because people with tics and Tourette Syndrome can't help it. I would encourage you to watch my other videos, especially 20 things you may or may not have known about Tourette Syndrome because I want to educate. I want to break the stigma and I want to raise awareness. Along with pledging to not make fun of Tourette syndrome anymore, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel because my goal is to break the stigma, to raise awareness and to educate. And I know I'm just one person, but I really, really want to do this, not only for me, but for everyone who has to deal with tic disorders or Tourette syndrome because I want you guys to know that we are just normal people too with just a few minor setbacks and we tick like clocks. By subscribing and following along on my journey, you guys can really help get the word out there. If you want to share this video, go for it. I would highly encourage you to share the link posted below because this is important. And if you want to do some good in the world today, I would recommend taking the pledge. Thank you so much for watching my video. As I've said again, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below saying hi. Tell me what you want to see in future videos. Or once you've taken the pledge, leave a comment saying so and I will give you guys a nice comment back. Also, give this video a thumbs up because I want people to see it. I want people to take this pledge and I want people to take Tourette Syndrome seriously. It is not a joke. Thank you for watching and have a great night.